So in this module, we're going to be looking at songwriting techniques. So being honest, I'm more of a producer than a lyric writer. I have written a few hits in my time, uh, but what's written about uh, songs could fill a whole tutorial. But here's a few of my thoughts and tips to get you started. For starters, there's many online songwriting tools. There are many sites where you can find tools on sale to help you write lyrics. There's online theosauruses and dictionaries if you need to come up with some uh, rhyming couplets, if you want a certain word to rhyme with something, or uh, theosaurus to give you a different meaning for a different word or a different uh, uh, interpretation. And there's even sites that write a whole song for you, which I kind of find unbelievable, but you never know. You can try these things out. There are also some hidden gems in the App Store that I've found for writing, two being Liptical and Word Palette. They both adopt a cut and paste approach to writing lyrics, and very similar to the late David Bowie's approach, where he used to write down words, cut them up, and jumble them around to find random lyrics. While many of these tools are pretty much the easy way to try and write a song, they're not often the best and there's nothing more satisfying than picking a title for a song or subject, sitting down and actually writing about it from the heart. It could be something uh, personal or it could be something that affects you or other people. And if you can write a song like that that connects, you know, I took a pill in Ibiza or I will always love you, you know, something that resonates, then, you know, chances are that the lyric itself will strike a chord with the listener. It's always good to start with a working title. It might be a phrase, something relevant to yourself, anything, a subject, and then build from there. You only have to have a look through today's charts to see the vast difference in songs, how they're written. Some are traditional where they have a verse, bridge, chorus. Others are just maybe two hook lines repeating over and over. They get into your head, especially in dance music. I mean, how many times do you listen to a song and you might hate it, but you end up humming it the next day? So personally, I always try and start out with a melody in my head and then put it down in my iPhone recorder, maybe work out some chords and lyrics and try and build on it from there. Sometimes it's the other way around. I might have a backing and I'll just play it in the studio and try and hum something over the top and then form lyrics after. Often, you know, some songwriters, they'll, they'll have the song already written out and then they'll attack the music. I mean, you get people, for instance, like Elton John and Bernie Taupin, where Bernie Taupin gives him the lyrics uh, just as a written form, almost like a poem. And then Elton John sits down at the piano and just writes the whole melody and the music. And often when you are writing a lyric, and I do this myself, you do get sort of hung up about the written word. You know, uh, is it is it clever enough? Is it is it you know artistic enough? But I always cite um, Whitney Houston, "I Will Always Love You," which was actually written by Dolly Parton. But when you actually write that line on a piece of paper, "I will always love you," if I wrote that line, I'd be a bit like, "It's all right." But then when Whitney Houston belts it out, it just takes it to a to a different level. So when you've got the you know often it's how the singer sings the song you know with the written lyric the melody and the song itself if you've got all them three things in place you know you may be in for something spectacular so sometimes the thing that sells an actual song might not always be the lyrics it might be the melody it might be you know the actual track itself you know the the, the actual melody might be an afterthought so there's so many factors to songwriting um, and there's not one approach that is the best. I'm just trying to give you some tips, ideas and just some things to think about. And the other thing to consider is, you know, sometimes you might write a song in a day. You might write the song in half an hour. Some of the best songs in the world have been written in sort of half an hour. Other times it might be a monthly process. You might sack it off. I don't know how many times. So, you know, if it's, if you're trying to write a song and lyric and it's not quite working, go and have a break. Go and write another song. Go and think about something else. Go and watch some TV. Go and read a book. Something that will inspire you, empty your mind, and then you can progress. If you're not a songwriter, why not team up with somebody who is? Why not team up with somebody who's maybe a poet or somebody who just likes writing 
verses, lyrics. You might be the music producer. They might be the lyricist. So that could be a really good working relationship. So I hope you've picked up something from this songwriting module. As I say, I don't profess to be a songwriter, but I hope that some of these uh, things that I've told you about and tools I've mentioned help you.